Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. As you probably already know, Bifron got released and almost no executors work anymore. If you don't know what Bifron is, it's basically an anti-cheat for Roblox, which basically patched all the executors and nothing works anymore. However, there are some executors that still work on the Microsoft Roblox version. And I'm gonna show you Melotic, which actually does work on Microsoft Roblox, so yeah. If you don't know what Microsoft Roblox is, it's basically the same as Roblox, but you have to actually turn it on from Microsoft Store. So first, let me show you how you can use Microsoft Roblox in case you don't already know. So first, you go to your search bar and then search for Microsoft Store. And then once you're here, search for Roblox. And you'll find like Roblox right here. Go ahead and click on it. There will be like an install if you don't already like install it. So go ahead and install it and then press play. So it's gonna, it's gonna turn on Roblox just like this. And go ahead and join whatever game you wanna join. I'm just gonna join Blocks Roots real quick. So once you have Microsoft Roblox installed, you're basically ready to start scripting, but you actually need the executor. So yeah, to download the executor, go to milotic.xyz and go ahead and download the executor from here. So before you download the executor, you actually have to turn off your virus and threat protection and real-time protection. So go into manage settings to turn off real-time protection from here, or it will just not let you download any executors. So yeah, once you've turned that off, go ahead and press on download and press on get milotic from Boosteller. Uh, you can watch this tutorial if you need help. It basically like takes like 20 to 30 seconds to download this. So once you've downloaded, you'll get a file like this called milotic-installer.exe. But if you use like milotic previously, you're gonna have like a folder like this. So delete this folder and all previous milotic files right here. And then press on installer.exe. It's gonna like automatically install milotic for you. As you can see the installation is done and it's gonna like turn on the executor right now as you can see this is the executor so the first time you log in it might ask you for a key just like this so it's really easy to get a key so once you've entered the key you're gonna have this ui like this so just go ahead and press attach it's gonna first download the dll as you can see it's downloaded the download is complete you have to press attach again and as you can see the status is ready so you're basically uh, ready to start executing scripts so let me just execute simple print so let me just see if this works so i'm just gonna turn on the console and if i execute as you can see it's working i'm also gonna execute a script for blocks root so i'm just gonna go to the script hub and as you can see there are a lot of scripts for blocks root i'm just gonna execute this one and see if it works oh no it actually requires a key uh i don't want to get a key anyways i'm gonna execute another one yeah, as you can see, here's the UI and the script is working. So I'm just going to turn on auto farm level and see if it's farming level for me. And yeah, as you can see, it starts farming. Yeah, as you can see, it's farming levels and stuff. So yeah, that script basically works. I'm also going to show you like some other game. As you can see, I'm currently on Beast Swarm Simulator and I'm going to execute this script right here. The Pepsi UI and as you can see it shows you like some stuff and as you can see the gui loaded up so so yeah that's basically the script as you can see it executed and it works by the way milotic also have this script hub built into it as you can see you can execute scripts really from here it it has like all the scripts from this website called p1.xyz this website almost has like 5000 scripts so yeah it's a lot and so yeah just go ahead and search for whatever game you want and you can just execute the script directly for the game from this ui so that's that's really really good Mythotic also has select your language built into it so you can like select whatever language you want to use as you can see you can change languages from here it also has like so many settings option which you can like uh, customize your Mythotic. Uh my favorite is just uh, turning this tree on and it's it looks like really clean and I can just execute the script directly from here and also inject from here. So yeah, you can like customize stuff and the UI looks really clean, I guess. So yeah, as you can see, Milotic actually works and you can start scripting again with this executor. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And hopefully see you in the next one.